What's up, everybody? It's a beautiful bald guy coming at you from Cochran GM, the friendliest dealership in town. And today we have a bit of an ultimate, ultium guide, all right? Because we have four electric vehicles in front of us, all right? Now you might say they have a lot in common. I've got three Chevys. I've got three white vehicles, all right? But there are two major things that these vehicles all have in common. The first is obviously they are all electric. The second, they are all using the Altium platform. That is correct. Our huge Hummer EV is using the exact same platform as our smaller SUVs like the Equinox and the Blazer. All right, and the way, the way sorry, that GM is doing that is by building this platform, they are able to focus everything in on one masterpiece of a technology, all right? And they're, they're creating unreal things, and that's what I wanna to talk to you about today. Now, one of the unreal things about the way that the Altium batteries work is there's 24 cells in each module, right? And those battery modules are built into those platforms. Now, on our smaller, sleeker vehicles like this, those modules, in order to make room for, for more stuff, are put down on their side, kind of like, uh, like pancakes, all right? So with these, they both have 12 modules, and you can actually see, if you look through, our platform is along this bottom side, and so all those modules are put along the side. Whereas, with our bigger vehicles, like the Silverado EV and our Hummer EV, instead of having pancakes, this morning we're gonna have toast, where they actually take those, those cells and they stand them up instead, because there's more room uh, this will probably be easier on this side. You can see that there's more room along this side for them to stand those batteries up. And by doing that, they actually also give themselves the opportunity to put even more stuff into these, like additional motors, more batteries, all of that kind of stuff. And now part of the reason why I really want to focus on the Altium platform for all of these is because GM has really built all of them from the ground up with everything in mind around efficiency. And there's so many patents that are happening for the Altium platform, but that efficiency is everywhere. Starting with, you look at all of the fronts of these vehicles, and if you zoom in, you can actually notice that they are enclosed, all right? And the reason for that is because everything is about aerodynamics, all right? You can still cool, like if you're towing on a Silverado, they still have the open uh, shutters here so that you can still cool. But for the most part, everything is more aerodynamic, including if you look at the back here, you'll notice that there's actually no gap between your cab and your bed. This thing actually has the same drag coefficient as a sports car. It's actually insane what they're doing. So meticulous to make sure that you get as much range as possible, as much power as possible, which is how we can have things. You can see it written on the window, a 632 kilometer range, and that's the starting smaller battery because it actually even goes up from there with these silver auto v's but there's other cool things going on as well check this out for most of our evs in the back in order for climate to actually make it into the back the vehicle actually needs to feel the weight and go one step further and make sure that you're actually buckled in and as soon as you do all of the climate controls will also work in the back but if there's no one back here they're saving that energy by keeping it all up front one of the other ways that they're helping to increase efficiency and also make sure that you're not spending too much on charging is let's say you want your battery to be full charge when you're leaving in the morning, but you plug it in you know, early in the evening. You can actually schedule with these when you plug in that, okay, I wanna be at 100% by you know, eight o'clock tomorrow morning. It will actually wait until that amount of time is required to start charging. So it's not charging all night, which obviously costs you money. The other cool thing is with the DC fast charging, there's all of these cool plugs that you can get, but one of the things that's recently come across is the North American Charging Standard. And now it might be the Canadian Charging Standard, but I believe it's the NACS that is actually making all chargers universal. So all of those previous chargers that were just for Teslas are now going to be capable. You can get an adapter and you can plug these in as well. So the amount of charging stations is exploding with the number of uh, different places that you can go to. Now, as EVs become more common, they're gonna start doing more things like towing, like driving year round. When it comes to towing, I know that there's been some issues with range with some of our competition, but one of the amazing things that the Silverado has really done, and you're gonna see the same thing in the Sierra, is they're getting 60% of their range, and this is towing at 
60 to 70 percent of their towing capacity. Uh, some of the guys at uh, TFL, uh, check out their video. I'll see if I can post a link to it. They do an amazing job of showing 6,500 pounds uh, of trailer being towed behind our 4WT and it still gets almost 60% and they were running AC, they were driving right along, which is absolutely unreal. Then when you start looking at things like the winter time driving, previously you had ranges of 90 kilometers on a charge and then that dropped to like 40% once you got into winter, and let's face it, we're in Canada, winter is here half the time. We now have obviously much higher starting numbers like 449, 632, 448, right? All of these things already give us a much better start, but they're also losing on average only about 25% of their range, getting into like minus 30 for a full week. And they're doing that with the heat pump. That heat pump is extra crazy. In previous generations of electric vehicles, they use what's called resistive heating, which is kind of like a, like a kettle, right? You push the button and it heats up from the bottom. That's super inefficient. What they're doing with the Ultium is more like a reverse refrigerator where they're actually taking some of the energy and heat that the battery, the brakes, the engine, all of those things create that heat and they're taking it and pumping it back into the cabin, which is how we're maintaining those crazy long ranges and not losing it in the winter. All right, so the, the amount that they're actually putting into this is absolutely unreal and they're taking EVs from being for the smallest fraction of the smallest fraction of people to being something that legitimately almost anyone can drive. And if you really, really want to experience what EVs are doing now and the unreal things that the GM Altium platform is capable of, you know what you have to do. You have to come talk to us here at Cochrane GM. Talk to myself, Matt, the beautiful bald guy. All right, you got to give us a call, 403-851-5310. We'll see you next time.